When I've done this review, I hope I never, ever have to watch a film with Buster Rhymes in ever again. What is up, everyone? Movie Way, I'm back again with another review. This is going to be for the 2002 film Halloween Resurrection, and it's directed by Rick Rosenthal and stars Jamie Lee Curtis for a little bit, Bianca Kajli, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Buster Rhymes. This tells the story of a group of teens who are put into the abandoned Myers house on Halloween night for a live internet feed. However, Michael Myers is also planning to visit his old stomping ground once again. Halloween Resurrection is a film I have never seen fully. I've only ever watched half of this movie and I never ever tear movies off. It's almost unheard of. 99% of films I start, I finish, but... I remember back in the day when I first watched this, I just hated it. I, I, I just didn't like this movie at all, and I switched it off. So what did I think of Halloween Resurrection on full rewatch? Let's find out. First off, the way they incorporate this whole Leon the Professional ending at, to the start of this movie <laughs> was either the most genius idea of all time, or the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I still can't quite decide if it was a good or bad thing, because I was just laughing my ass off all the way through this, but also I had to applaud the absolute balls and audacity of the creators of this film to go with it. So Michael Myers, who got his head chopped off in the first film, was not actually Michael Myers. It was just some paramedic, and Michael stole a paramedic suit. <laughs> in a way, it kind of worked, because how else are you going to bring Michael Myers back? He literally had no head. I mean, surely for Michael Myers, there's no comeback from that. So this is probably the only way to go. And I still don't know if it worked or not. And despite what a lot of people may think, I do not really care that Jamie Lee Curtis was killed off at the start of this movie, or Laurie Strode, should I say, because I've stated in previous Halloween reviews that I am not the biggest Jamie Lee Curtis fan, and I think we've seen his story arc work well from the start of H2O to the end. I mean, she'd overcome all her fears and stuff. We don't need to see her again take on Michael Myers. So I get why they've done this, and a lot of Halloween fans might be pissed off that they did, but for me, it was one of the pluses of the film, to be honest. I'll see you in hell. But there's no way Jamie Lee Curtis should be locked up, in my opinion, because... It was just a complete accident. She had suffered so much trauma that night. That was all Michael Myers doing. He put her in that position to her unwillingly knowing. So the only way I can think that she's locked up is that the whole incident drove her absolutely batshit insane and she couldn't deal with it. So they decided to lock her up. But I don't think criminally she should have been prosecuted. I just think it was a complete accident and an easy, easy mistake to me. Overall, this wasn't a bad 15 opening minutes for me, to be honest. I actually was getting into it and I was thinking, is this movie really that bad? Michael Myers was doing his usual thing. There was a lot of tension. He was looking okay, but he was slicing and dicing like Michael Myers should. And I was just thinking, yeah, I'm all up for this. Maybe I was wrong about this film, but no, it all goes downhill from here on out. But I do think there is one more positive for this film before I get into it, and it is actually the kills. I think there's some decent ones here. We see a guy's head in a washing machine, which was fun to see. We also see a spear go through some guy's neck from a first-person viewpoint with the camera and stuff. And we see an annoying blonde's head cut off. But one that really stood out to me was when Michael Myers just pins this guy through a spike onto a door and then he just shuts the door behind him and the guy is on the door. I thought that was quite funny to see actually and an awesome little shot. Right, there's that over with. Let's get into some horseshit. Now even though this was an interesting idea with the whole internet boom of the early 2000s and people you going online a lot more and that playing on pop culture and relevant to modern society I think it was just doomed to fail from the start because even though that was all the big thing back then it still is to this day 
I just don't think it belongs in a Halloween film. It was it was too modern for this franchise. It was too modern for Michael Myers. It just totally didn't work. And even though it was an interesting idea, I kind of hated it at the same time before even watching this movie. When I knew what it was about, I was like, mm. so yeah, I don't think the whole internet feed and reality TV thing work for this movie whatsoever. Even when characters are talking to one another, they do this with the camera. Like, it'll have both of them on screen, and then it'll switch to one camera, switch to the other. I'm just like, stop it. It's so poorly edited together. But speaking of the characters, there's no one to get behind in this movie at all. Even the main protagonist, the so-called main protagonist, if you can call her that, was just not likeable in any way whatsoever. And... You can't even call it the main protagonist anyway because it just shuffles around each character too much. Kind of like Halloween 6. It didn't know which was the main character there. This movie doesn't either really. And yeah, they were just... There was just nothing to these characters whatsoever. It was nice to see Kevin from American Pie in this film though. Mainly just because I don't think I've ever seen Thomas Ian Nicholas in anything apart from an American Pie film. So here he was in Halloween Resurrection. His character still suck though. Buster Rhymes is also in here too, which a lot of horror movies did in this time period, just shoved the rappers into their movies. But LL Cool J in Halloween H2O was actually okay in that film. I think he had some decent acting ability. But here, Buster Rhymes has definitely just been thrown on for the sake of it because this guy just cannot act. His dialogue is so forced and over the top. His mannerisms are just so awkward. I still can't believe that Buster Rhymes actually starred in a movie because he's awful. There's also two characters in this film who have never met, but they kind of meet up in chat rooms on the internet. And it's kind of like their boyfriend and girlfriend, really. It's just all so weird, but it just shows how much it plays on technology and social media in this film because it was the boom at the time. But he's even texting her later on saying, Michael Myers is behind you in the house and stuff. And I was just like, oh, this, this just does not work. There's a character named Billy whose camera goes off here when he's killed. And are we just led to believe that the CCTV does not pick that up? Because it didn't show us. But surely someone on the internet feed must have seen that. And phoned Buster Rhymes up or his company and said, look, Michael Myers might be in this house or someone's in there killing people. But no, we're just told to suspend our disbelief and go along with it. I can't get along with that. There's thousands of people watching this live internet feed and characters are being killed in the house, but no one can see it. It just didn't make sense. It was so silly. And we also have to talk about simply one of the worst moments in this Halloween franchise so far. Buster Rhymes dropkicking Michael Myers out of a window because he watches a lot of kung fu films and that's where they learned it from. I was just sitting there watching it going, man, what is happening to this movie series? You got it right back on track with H2O and now you fell into that bad movie trap like in Halloween 5 and 6. It was pathetic to watch. Huh? Right after Michael is electrocuted at the end of this film as well, Buster Rhymes decides to go up to him and says one of the most monumental and brilliant genius pieces of dialogue I have ever heard in a movie in my life. He says, wow. Looking a little crispy over there, Mikey. Like some chicken fried, motherfucker. <sighs> my God, who cast this guy? And don't forget the big climax, Michael Myers opens his eyes and the credits roll. Wow, who thought of this creative shit? What an ending. Look, I have not much more to say about this movie. It's one of the most forgettable Halloween films. It just met, left me feeling empty and hollow. And an hour after, I was just like, never wanting to watch it ever again. I just blanked this movie from my memory. Good job I wrote all this down because I would have struggled with this review. It's very, very hard to believe that Rick Rosenthal directed arguably my favourite sequel in Halloween 2 and this. They are total opposite ends of the spectrum. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's one of the worst movies of all time. Like some people suggest, it's watchable mainly for some of the kills. But it's just not a very good film, to be honest. I'm just going to go ahead and rate this movie now. 
I'm going to give Halloween Resurrection a 3.5 out of 10. Unbelievably. This is actually not my least favourite Halloween film up to now. When I do my ranking, you will find out. But it will be near the bottom, I'm sure. Okay, at the end of these reviews, I always like to leave a little fun fact. Now, a fun fact for Halloween Resurrection is that Jamie Lee Curtis did not want to be a part of this movie at all because she feels like her character arc had ended brilliantly in Halloween H2O. Me too. But she actually decided that she will be in it as long as her character is killed off once and for all. And that's why I don't mind her being killed off in this film as well. Mm, I'm not the biggest Jamie Lee Curtis fan, I have said that. But also, I've just seen it enough in these movies now. We need to go in new directions. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. What do you think of Halloween Resurrection? Is there anyone out there who actually likes this film? Please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and get back to you all, I promise. And if you want more Halloween reviews, they will be in the link down below. We do have Rob Zombie's Halloween coming up next, so look out for that. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for all future content. Thanks so much, guys. Take it all easy. And I'll see you all in the next video.